Listen, I am not sure what y'all have going on, but right now you are elevating. Right now you are shining. Right now people are shocked and baffled by the way that you're showing up, by the way that you're operating. Listen, somebody is literally shocked at your wisdom. They are shocked at the wisdom that you carry. They're trying to figure out how you know that, where you got that from, who told you that. As much as you talk about the spirit, as much as you display the fruits of the spirit, they're still in doubt. They're still in disbelief. And now they're looking at you with your wisdom and how you're moving and how you're showing up. And they're trying to figure out how. Some people have literally been close to you. They have been in close proximity. They have been talking to you and they did not realize how wise you were, how wise you are. They wrote you off prematurely. They talked about you prematurely. They devalued you prematurely. They rejected you prematurely. And now they're looking at you with their mouths wide open. Because daily, God pulls back another layer of you and reveal who you are. Daily, God strip you and pull you up out of all the toxic things and, and chains that they tried to place you in. And see, you've been quiet for so long. You've kept your peace for so long. You played the game for so long. You minimized and shrunk yourself for so long. And the moment now that God is starting to reveal you, they are shocked. These individuals are shocked. Somebody is shocked that you literally left them. They are shocked that you know what you know. You are being revealed layer by layer right now. If you did not know, I'm letting you know, you are being revealed layer by layer. Everybody can take your dosage of greatness. And so God give them to it. <laughs> God give them to it just a little bit. They, he feeds them just a little bit of who you are. And that's why they find that you're mysterious. That's why they feel like you're mysterious. Because the moment they get comfortable with this version that they think they know, God elevates you yet again. God push you forward yet again. God show you a new version of you yet again. And so they're constantly chasing, trying to figure out what you're doing, who you are, where you are, where, who you with, all of that. They are shocked. You have literally shocked somebody. I don't know what you did, where you're going, how you did it. Well, I do know how you did it because it's the spirit. But the manner in which you did it, some people feel like it's an overnight thing. Somebody looking at you right now and feel like you have transformed overnight because you've been silent. Because you've been going through the test and trial behind the scene. And maybe they saw you at some moments down in the pit, but you still look good. You still smile. You still carried yourself with grace. And now God is revealing you. Now God is exposing who you truly are in layers. The moment they get comfortable with you, God is like, no, that's not it. There's more to them. There's more to her. There's more to him. But they were so toxic. They were so envious. They were so jealous that they prematurely wrote you off. And now you are in a season of being exposed. Now you are in a season of elevation. Now you are in a season of being your better and your bigger. They shocked. They are literally shocked. Y'all continue to shine. Y'all continue to grind. Y'all continue to show up daily. I know it's not easy, but listen, you're doing a great job. If nobody has told you, I'm telling you, you're doing a great job. Some people are baffled by your transformation and you may feel like i'm not even there yet we're never there as long as you have breath in your body you're going to always continue to be pressing for the higher calling for the prize but they're looking at you and they cannot believe that is you they cannot believe how you're overcoming they cannot believe that you continue to show up they cannot believe that you're so happy and at peace regardless of what they've done to you they are shocked by your wisdom they are shocked by your determination they are shocked at you just believing in you somebody literally from a child has tried to stop you from this very moment right here from this very moment right here and you're like what is that moment of coming into your own Thinking for yourself, being okay with being outside of society's box, 
learning and becoming who you are authentically, living in that. For so long, they've tried to keep you from doing that because they knew the moment you tapped into it is over. Every game, every lie is over. And I'm telling you right now, you're standing in the midst of it. You're standing in the midst of it, regardless of what it looks like, what it feels like. People are watching you and they're shocked. When you have conversations with them, they're shocked that you're so wisdom, yet you're so wise. Start to celebrate that. Regardless of what the tangible things look like, y'all, that inner work, that's some hard stuff. Doing that quote unquote shadow work because everybody gets so worked up about using that verbiage. But listen, it's a thing. You being better than the old version of you is a thing. You outgrowing, outdoing, overcoming those, you know, trials and, and things that happen to you, traumas. That's a thing. So that should be celebrated. Celebrate that. Celebrate yourself. I celebrate you. I salute you because I know it's not easy. And they can't believe it's you. They mad that it's you. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Y'all continue to be wise. Continue to be kind. Continue to be patient with yourself. Continue to be loving. Have discernment on all those things, though. That's it. I love y'all so much. Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.